table salt and sugar are two essential components of many food items which we consume. Table salt or sodium chloride is an ionic compound while sugar is a covalent compound. The compounds formed by the sharing of electrons are called covalent compounds while the compounds formed by transfer of electrons are called ionic or electrovalent compounds. Let us study about ionic compounds and their properties. The compounds which are formed as a result of the transfer of electrons from one atom of an element to the atom of another element are called ionic or electrovalent compounds. Formation of ionic compounds involves the formation of cation and anion. The elements having 1, 2 or 3 electrons in their valence shell lose one or more electrons to form positively charged ion called cation. For example, sodium atom loses an electron to acquire a stable electronic configuration and forms sodium ion. The elements having 5, 6 or 7 electrons in the valence shell of their atoms accept one or more electrons to form negatively charged ion called anion. For example, chlorine atom gains an electron and forms negatively charged chloride ion. The cation and anion being oppositely charged are held together tightly by the strong electrostatic force of attraction. This force of attraction between cation and anion is called an ionic bond. The compounds formed from cations and anions are called ionic compounds. The total charge on cations and anions in an ionic compound is equal, therefore they are electrically neutral. Let us discuss the formation of sodium chloride. The atomic number of sodium is 11 and its electronic configuration is 281. The atomic number of chlorine is 17 and its electronic configuration is 2, 8 and 7. Sodium loses the one valence electron and attains the nearest noble gas configuration. On the other hand, chlorine atom gains one electron and attains the nearest noble gas configuration. Sodium atom transfers its one electron to chlorine atom to form a sodium ion and a chloride ion. After the donation of the electron from the sodium atom to the chlorine atom, the ionic bond is formed between the sodium ion and chloride ion. Now we will discuss the formation of magnesium chloride. The atomic number of magnesium is 12 and its electronic configuration is 2A2. The atomic number of chlorine is 17 and its electronic configuration is 2, 8 and 7. Magnesium atom transfers its two valence electrons to two chlorine atoms, one each to form a magnesium ion and two chloride ions. After the donation of the electrons from the magnesium atom to the chlorine atom, the ionic bond is formed between the magnesium ion and chloride ion. Ionic compounds are different from the covalent compounds. They are characterized by a number of features. Let us study about them one by one. Ionic compounds have strong and rigid crystals. The regular arrangement of ions in ionic compounds is responsible for their crystalline nature. Different ionic compounds have different arrangement of ions Therefore, the shapes of their crystals are also different. In an ionic crystal, negative ions are arranged around a positive ion and positive ions are arranged around a negative ion. It decreases the repulsive force between similarly charged ions. So we can say that two main factors which are responsible for a particular crystal structure in an ionic compound are the size of the cation and an ion and magnitude of the electrical charge on the ions. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points due to strong electrostatic forces of attraction between cations and anions. A large amount of energy is required to break these forces, hence their melting and boiling points are high. 
Due to their high melting and boiling points, the ionic compounds are solids at room temperature and non-volatile in nature. The melting and boiling points of some ionic compounds are shown here. Let's go to the laboratory and investigate what happens when the ionic compounds are heated. For this, we require samples of sodium chloride, potassium iodide, barium chloride, a spatula and Bunsen burner. Take a small amount of sodium chloride in a spatula and heat directly on the flame of the burner. Repeat the same with potassium iodide and barium chloride. Note the color of flame in each case and find out whether these salts melt or not. You will observe that all the three salts do not melt on heating. Sodium chloride produces a golden yellow flame, potassium iodide produces a red violet flame and barium chloride produces a light green flame. Ionic compounds are hard and brittle. They can be broken into pieces by applying force. In general, ionic compounds are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents. For example, potassium chloride is soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents. But why does it happen? In water, ions of ionic compound attract water molecules. This weakens the electrostatic force of attraction present between ions. As a result, the ions are pulled from their fixed positions and the compound dissolves in water. The organic solvents do not interact with ions, so they do not dissolve ionic compounds in them. Now, let's move to the next property of ionic compounds. They conduct electricity in molten or in aqueous solution. We know that substances conduct electricity only when they have free electrons or ions. The ionic compounds cannot conduct electricity in the solid state because their charged ions are tightly packed. For example, sodium chloride does not conduct electricity in the solid state. It conducts electricity when it is dissolved in water. On dissolving in water, the ions break away from their fixed positions and they are free to move and conduct electricity. The ionic compounds are called electrolytes due to the electrical conductivity in the molten state and in aqueous solution. Let us perform an experiment to understand it more clearly. For this, we require solutions of sodium chloride, potassium iodide, barium chloride, carbon electrodes, beaker, cell, bulb, press key, electrical wires, etc. Assemble an electrolytic cell by using a beaker and connect the carbon electrodes to the positive and negative terminal of the cell. Dip the electrodes in a sodium chloride solution. Repeat the same procedure with potassium iodide solution and barium chloride solution. Did you see the bulb glowing? Yes, the bulb glows in all three solutions. On dissolving sodium chloride, potassium iodide and barium chloride in water, free ions are formed. These free ions are responsible for conducting electricity, due to which the bulb glows in each solution. This shows that the aqua solutions of ionic compounds have free ions. So, we can say ionic compounds are formed by transfer of electrons and consist of cations and anions. They are crystalline, hard and brittle solids. They have high melting and boiling points. They are soluble in water and conduct electricity in the molten and aqueous state.